Hello, my name is Mark Nixon from Moran's Medical and I'm here to demonstrate Silhouette, Wound Imaging and Documentation System. The system comprises of two main components, Silhouette Star, the imaging part of the system, and Silhouette Connect, which runs on a tablet or laptop. The first thing to do is to log into Silhouette Connect using the username and password that you have been given. Once you have logged in, you see a list of patients that are currently under investigation. We'll select the first patient, as that is the patient that we have here with us today. Reviewing the patient's details, we can see that there are three wounds that this patient has. We're now ready to start collecting the images, and I'll press the Capture Images button. Once you have pressed the Capture Images button, the first thing that you might notice is that the laser lines come on. There are three laser lines that form a triangle shape. When you've moved the camera the right distance from the surface, it forms a star, and that's the distance at which the camera is in perfect focus. Now we are ready to image a wound. There are several things to keep in mind. Firstly, we need to be immediately above the wound, so we're perpendicular to it. Now we need to move the range so that the triangle shape collapses into a star shape. Now think of the lasers like a probe. We're probing the depth as well as, as, as measuring the area and volume. So we want to make sure that there's at least part of the laser line that is covering the deepest portion of the wound. Finally, we need to hold the camera still as we squeeze the button and initiate the image capture sequence. Now we are ready to capture the images of the other wounds. As a beginner, you might find it easier to hold the camera in two hands. That way you can balance the bottom of the camera while you're squeezing the button against the other hand. We'll move to the third wound and I'll repeat the process. The camera is perpendicular to the wound. I have the lasers in a star shape. I have at least part of a laser line over the deepest portion of the wound. I hold the camera still and I squeeze the button. Now if for any reason you're worried about the quality of the image, you can actually take more than one image. So for example here I'll take a second image and I can even capture a third image. Just to recap what we've been over, hold the camera perpendicular above the wound. Adjust the height of the camera so that the triangle shape collapses to a star. Have a portion of the laser line over the deepest part of the wound. Hold the camera still and gently squeeze the button to initiate the capture sequence. Now that we've captured the images, we're ready to assign them to the wounds in the system. So the first image is wound A. The second image is wound B, and now we had three images of wound C. So I'm actually going to delete the first two and keep the third one as wound C. Now at this stage we can actually leave the system and go about finishing our duties with the patient. But we'll just assume for the demonstration that we are ready to do a tracing on wound C. Now here we are at stage ready to do the tracing. So I'm going to zoom in so that the wound is nicely enlarged on the screen. Now I start by clicking the mouse button around the edges of the wound. Now as well as clicking like this, I can also hold the mouse button and trace around the edges. So it's, you can do whatever method you prefer, or in fact you can do both methods. We go around the wound like this, and we need to finish by clicking on the circular target. So as you can see, the surface area is about 20 squared centimetres, the maximum depth is 1.5 centimetres, and the volume is around 19 cubic centimetres. The image acquisition part of the process has now been completed. There are also uh, customisable documentation notes that we complete, can complete at this stage. For example, I might want to document the progress of the wound appearance. I might want to comment on the wound margins, the surrounding skin, the amount of exudate, and other features such as pain. So at this stage we can now see the wound has progressed and has actually been getting worse in this example here. 
At this stage we can create a PDF report which will summarize all the features of this wound. So as you can see it has the images, the graphs and the notes that we've collected. This can be printed out and stored if necessary. And that ends the imaging and documentation process. At this stage the data can be synchronized to the central server for backup and storage.